the Fuga Magister, is undoubtedly one of the notable pioneers of the jet era in aviation history. It was the first jet for many pilots and it proved itself in numerous wars and conflicts. Today we're investigating the Magister, one of the most elegant birds in the sky with its beautiful design and retail. The Magister trained jet pilots from 21 air forces and gallantly fought in many wars and conflicts. This elegant bird performed most agile maneuvers during air shows. The story of the Magister is almost as dulled as the jet aircraft. The first jets emerged just before the end of the Second World War, ending the piston engine fighter era. In the second half of the 1940s, as the first Cold War emerged, many nations began operating jet fighters making the development of the new jet-powered trainer urgent. Similarly, France sought such aircraft to replace its piston engines Morin Saulnier MS-475. Consequently, Fuga began developing its own solution in 1948. Founded in 1920, this company primarily operated in the railway rolling stock industry in its early days. In 1936, with Pierre Mabusson's and Robert Castillo's involvement, Fuga entered the aviation industry. Its aircraft were typically named using the letters C and M, the initials of the surnames of these two aircraft engineers followed by a number. The Fuga's new jet trainer was based on its own CM8 glider. The company initially developed the CM130 featuring a Turbomica Palace turbojet, however the engine's power was insufficient. In 1949, the CM8R13 silt prototype, equipped with a Turbomeca Piman turbojet, was developed to gain more data. This study provided valuable feedback for the design of the CM170. In December 1950, the French Air Force ordered three prototypes from Fuga. The first prototype of the CM170 Magister, equipped with two Turbomeca Marbori engines, made its maiden flight on July 23, 1952. However, it crashed in November of the same year and the third prototype was lost in February 1953. The last prototype featured a different design. Similar to the CM8, the CM170 utilized an unconventional V-tail, also referred to as butterfly tail. During the development process, Fuga decided to study a classical tail configuration. However, this design did not yield any advantages and increased the weight. Moreover, the conventional tail was discovered to be aerodynamically inferior at higher speeds. In July 1953, the Magister won the tender by defeating its rival, the Marin Saulnier MS-755 Fleuret. In fact, these two contestants had similar performances against each other. However, the tandem seat arrangement of the Magister was determined to be more efficient than the side-by-side -side arrangement of the Fleuret. The CM-170 was entered into the French Air Force service in 1956. France prioritized overseas orders over its own needs. As a result, the aircraft could be delivered to the foreign users quickly, contributing to the Magister's popularity in the market. Additionally, Paris imposed very few procedures to grant production license rights for the jet. The Finnish Valme OY, German Flugzeug Union Zut, and the Israeli IAI companies manufactured the aircraft. The production of the Magister ceased in France in 1962 but continued in Finland until 1967. The aircraft's fuselage was metal and its wings were formed with aluminum alloy. The cockpits were pressurized and air conditioned. The rear seat's forward visibility was limited. To overcome this issue, a binocular periscope was fitted. This periscope provided a relatively wide angle over the top of the front cockpit for the instructor seated in the rear. The Magister lacked ejection seats. A keel was installed beneath the rear fuselage to mitigate the V-tail's negative dihedral effects when the rudder was applied. The engines were positioned near the center line, producing minimal asymmetric thrust, which enhances the aircraft's safety for training missions. Despite sharing the same fuel system, the engines had independent oil systems. The Magister was an easy aircraft to operate and maintain. Just a few procedures were sufficient before takeoff and both engines could be replaced within 45 minutes. The Magister was an agile and easily controllable aircraft. Therefore, it was favored by many aerobatic teams 
including the Zapofuga of Austria, the Diablo Rouge of Belgium, the Esquadrillo da Fumaça of Brazil, the Patrouille de France, and the Patrouille de Voltige d'Air of France, the Flugzeug Frau Schuling A of Germany, the Silver Swallows of Ireland, and the Israeli Air Force Aerobatic Team. Algeria, Austria, Bangladesh, Belgium, Brazil, Cambodia, Cameroon, El Salvador, Finland, France, Gabon, Germany, Ireland, Israel, Lebanon, Libya, Morocco, Rwanda, Senegal, Togo, and Uganda operated the aircraft. Some sources report that Guatemala supplied three ex-French magistrates in the late 1980s. However, we could not find any visual confirmation. At that time, the Salvadorian Air Force provided training assistance with its own CM-170s to the Guatemalan Air Force to form an aerobatic squadron. The magistrates reported the belonging to Guatemala may have been these aircraft. Additionally, Biafra and Katanga, two African nations whose independence was not recognized by the United Nations, chose this aircraft. Biafra ended before its CM-170s arrived. Katanga, on the other hand, received three of the nine magistrates it ordered at least before it was dissolved. The most produced magistrate variant, the CM-171, had a length of 10.06 meters, a wingspan of 12.15 meters, a height of 2.8 meters, and a wing area of 17.3 square meters. Its empty and maximum takeoff weights were 2,150 and 3,200 kilograms, respectively. Two 3.9 kN Turbomica Marbori 2A turbojet engines provided a top speed of 715 km per hour. Its range was 1,200 km with external tanks. The aircraft's service ceiling was 11,000 meters, in other words, 36,000 feet. Two 7.5 or 7.62 mm machine guns could be mounted on the nose. The Magister capable of carrying up to 140 kilograms of armament, could be equipped with free-fall bombs, rocket pods, or AS-11 guided anti-tank missiles. The improved CM-172 version was introduced in 1960. This model was equipped with two 4.71 kN Turbomica Marbori 4 turbojets. Unlike its predecessor, it had a maximum speed of 725 km per hour, and a maximum range of 1400 km. The CM-172 could climb to 12,000 meters. Two prototypes of the carrier-capable derivative of the Magister were produced in 1956 and 1957. They were designated as the CM-170M Iskif, with the mass production version being redefined as the CM-175 Zephyr. Unlike the CM-170, the CM-175 features a new canopy that slides backwards. This canopy can be opened during flight and landing. The instructor's periscope was angled Z. This change allowed for the sliding of the front canopy. The Zephyr featured a tail hook mounted beneath the rear fuselage and longer and more robust landing gear designed to absorb the shock from landing and catapult launches. Its tip tanks were smaller than those of the CM-170. They were removable but could not be released during flight. The sole user of the Zephyr was the French naval aviation. The CM-171 Makalu had two 10.8 kN Turbomica Gabizu turbojet engines, 45 degree swept wings, rounded air inlets and enlarged engine housings. It made its maiden flight in 1956. Although the French Air Force considered acquiring this version under the designation CM-195, the plan never materialized and the only prototype crashed in 1957. The French Potes company, which acquired Fuga in 1958, launched a joint project with Heinkel, a partner of the German Flugzeug Union Sud Consortium that produced the Magister under license to develop a four-seat version of the aircraft. This model, named the CM191, made its maiden flight in 1962 but did not enter mass production. The CM-173 was designed for South Africa. This version featured Turbomeca Marbori 4 turbojets and ejection seats. It made its maiden flight on June 9, 1962 and was also called the Potes 94. However, the CM-173 Super Magister 
did not enter mass production either. The Israeli IAI company produced the CM-170 under license. Unlike the Magister, this variant, called Zukit, was quickly modified, making it superior to the original version. The Israeli aircraft featured a new, updated cockpit and ejection seats. The fin surface of the Zukit was enlarged. Some metal parts of the aircraft, such as the air intakes, were replaced with plastic resins and fiberglass. The Magister was not only an excellent trainer but also a capable combat aircraft. Togo even classified their CM-170s as fighters. France frequently employed them for close air support missions during the Algerian War of Independence. Since the capabilities of this aircraft impressed the Algerians, shortly after gaining independence, Algeria acquired 28 Magisters from Germany. During the Congo Crisis, Katanga, which sought independence from Congo, ordered 9 CM-170s. However, only three were delivered to this unrecognized country. One of these Magisters was used during the siege of Jaroville in 1961 against Irish soldiers deployed in the region under the command of the United Nations. It is known that it also destroyed two DC-4s and a DC-3 on the ground. Some sources claim that the aircraft carrying Dog Hammarkeld, the Secretary General of the United Nations, was shot down by a Magister of the Katanese Air Force on September 18, 1961. However, these claims have never been proven. During the Congo Crisis, one Katanese Magister was shot down while the United Nations forces confiscated the second. The third aircraft remained in use until early 1963 and was destroyed during the conflict's final phase. Both the Royal Cambodian Air Force and Khmer Air Force operated the CM-170s for light attack missions. Conflicts occurred in the border region between Morocco and Algeria in 1963 as Morocco claimed rights over the provinces of Tandouf and Bechar in Algeria. This conflict, known as the Sand War, saw Moroccan magisters engaged with Algerian troops. The Royal Moroccan Air Force also frequently deployed the aircraft against the Polisario forces in Western Sahara. Israel, which was constantly preparing for war, created a combat squadron of Zukits under the control of the flight school in 1964. In the event of conflict, instructors and reserve pilots would operate these aircraft. This decision was wise. During the 1967 Six-Day War, the primary combat force of the Israeli Air Force raided Egyptian air bases, while Zukits provided close air support to Israeli troops in the Sinai Peninsula. These aircraft beat off Jordan's counteroffensive on the Jerusalem front. However, seven Zukits were shut down by the Jordanian army. Despite these heavy losses, it proved its value by playing a crucial role in capturing Jerusalem, destroying over 50 tanks and more than 70 armored vehicles. During the Salvadoran Civil War, the Salvadoran Air Force often utilized its Zukits and Magisters for ground attack missions. Today, the Magister removed its uniform and retired from military service. However, many aircraft still fly with former Air Force Randalls. For example, as a part of its heritage, the Finnish Air Force shows the deserved respect to these two elegant birds of the Silver Jets aerobatic team and continues to keep them at its bases. The Magister became the first jet for many pilots over the years. Also, like all good comrades, it didn't leave them alone in the war. This aircraft performs some of the most agile maneuvers at air shows. It has enchanted aviation enthusiasts with its beauty. The legendary Magister remains as one of the most unforgettable aircraft in aviation history. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.